Thank you very much. Lucy, you and your husband held concurrent homestead exemptions for several years in violation of state law. You said several times that your husband is a permanent resident of Tennessee, yet your family continues to claim a homestead exemption in Cobb County, also in violation of Georgia law. Now we've learned that Cobb County has revoked that homestead exemption. At the same time, you reported that your vehicles are registered in Tennessee, also a violation of state law. My question to you is this. When do you plan to pay back the taxpayers for this, these fraudulent exemptions, the car taxes you've been skipping out on if, in fact, you do live in East Cobb, 6th District. Representative Handel, I believe that you are trying to diminish the confidence that the people in this district, 6th Congressional District, have of me, but I'm more than happy to answer the question. Um, I came to Georgia in 1990. Actually, Representative Handel, I've lived in Georgia longer than you have. Um, my son Jordan was born and raised in Georgia. He's gone to Marietta High. Now, I voted for myself in the primary election. I voted for myself in the runoff election. I didn't intend to vote for myself when I win November 6. But there again, what I will say to you is that I have paid Georgia taxes for every year that I've lived in Georgia. In 2016, when I was traveling on behalf of the Democratic Party, my husband and I had some very serious and deep family discussions and provisions, provisions that we needed to make. We decided, I decided that I was changing my res residency to Tennessee. I changed it for 2016 and 2017, I changed it back. For you to try to continue to consider me disingenu disingenuous is absolutely incorrect. Lucy, the fact is that you, your family received a homestead exemption for both of the years that you were in Tennessee. So how can you claim a homestead exemption in East Cobb if you are a resident of Tennessee? It is wrong to mislead the voters. There's nothing illegal about running for Congress in a, in a state, in a district that you don't live. But it is illegal to take a homestead exemption when you don't deserve it. If you really do live here and that homestead was valid, then that means you're violating state law by not registering those vehicles vehicles here and avoiding paying Georgia's 7% ta car tax. Lucy McMath, it's your time to make a question. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Representative Handel, it's apparent to me 